all right guys in last section i have showed you how to predict your test data set and then the result look little bit nicer uh, compared to previous one but still it's not the best result and in this video i'm going to show you how to do the accuracy assessment in our model so let's get start so uh, in order to do the accuracy assessment in the image segmentation tasks there are a um, four most popular matrices that we need to take care the first one is a uh, precision and second is recall similarly third is japan score and then fourth is intersection over union so in this particular section so i'll i'll talk about these four matrices and then um, i'll try to like uh, see the like accuracy of my model all right so before explaining this uh, accuracy matrix i want to discuss about this table which is uh, also known as confusion matrix so here if we like plot our actual value in the x axis and then the predicted values in the y axis then we might uh, get the four different categories uh, one is true positive false positive false negative and true negative so that means if there is actual water bodies in the ground and then we predicted it as the water bodies then it's called true positive case but if there is like actual uh, actually water in the ground and then but we predicted it as a non water body then it called false negative and similarly for the false positive if uh, there is no water on the ground i mean no water in the image but we predicted it as a water then it's false positive case but uh, similarly if there is no water in the image and then we predicted it as a non water body then it's the true negative case so those are the like four different kind of like actual value and predicted value case scenarios and based on these cases so we'll simply like calculate these uh, matrices so the first matrix is the accuracy which is true positive plus true negative by true positive true negative false positive and false negative that means uh, our true case scenario divided by whole case scenario but in case of like image segmentation um, in order to like detect the small amount of object uh, in the image so the accuracy might not be relevant because it deal with the like our the denominator will be much larger than the denominator then we end up with like uh, we end up with like uh, maybe uh, good accuracy because we we also have like the uh, true negative also the non water body is also really high in the image and then we might end up with the high accuracy but uh, that's why the accuracy matrix is not that great uh, in case of like uh, small object detection in the image segmentation tax talking about precision so which is true positive divided by true positive plus false uh, positive case and then similarly for the recall true positive divided by true positive plus true negative case and f1 square is the uh, two multiply by precision into recall divided by precision plus recall but um, in in most of the case like if our accuracy is near one then we call it like higher accuracy and if it's uh, uh, near zero then it's low accuracy and uh, most of the time we only like uh, depend on the f1 score and yeah so here uh, so i have this like converted my actual ground truth which is test yy uh, which is the water bodies in the image into the i converted it into the unsigned integer 8 bit and then similarly for the predicted one i converted it into the unsigned uh, integer 8 bit and after that so i wrote a function to calculate these matrices first of all i like uh, make this both uh, ground truth and then the predicted mask 
into the 1D array and then based on that I simply calculated true positive, false positive, false negative and true negative case. So as I explained before, so these are the like cases uh, it should be for for example for the true positive uh, if the ground truth is 1 and the predicted max is 1 then we call it true positive and similarly we, we call it false positive, false negative and true negative case and based on that we calculate the precision recall and f1 score as I showed you previously uh, in this formula so I am simply applying that formula and then uh, I also apply intersection over union which is the like case of true positive divided by true positive plus false positive plus false negative and yeah based on that simply I return the precision recall f1 score and IOU value and if I hit run this cell so it will simply calculate the like <coughs> precision recall f1 score and IOU based on our test data set test yy and predicted test and uh, the accuracy is like uh, for for the precision we have like 77 percent accurate and recall is quite low uh, 46 percent and f1 score is 58 percent which is kind of okay uh, in comparison to like our scenario because uh, the the actual water body was not like was not there because uh, in the uh, in our sample we use the predefined shape file in shape file we we don't have like exact boundary of the water bodies that's why but uh, it's also kind of okay accuracy and uh, for the intersection over union it's uh, 41 percent and uh, which is relatively kind of okay and yeah so yeah that's how you like calculate the accuracy do the accuracy assessment so i hope you enjoyed this video so i'll see you in the next